back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video by yours truly, Dolby in the flesh. I don't know if you can notice, but there's something a little different going on up top. I'm feeling uh, charismatic as fuck right now. I don't know if you guys know that. You guys know that feeling when you get that fresh haircut. And you know, like beforehand, you're like thinking like, ah, oh, I should probably settle down, you know, maybe just start taking it easy. Then you get that fresh haircut and you're like, where are the bitches at? <laughs> But I don't know it was it was definitely time for a change. I was getting sick of the long hair It was like getting in my mouth and stuff when I eat and I don't know I just wanted to be fresh from head to toe. You know what I mean like whew. Today we're uh, just looking for a spot to camp out right now got some stuff to cook up for you guys today It's a beautiful December day. It's like plus two Degrees Celsius and anyone watching this that's not from Canada. No, that is a beautiful day in December We it's like yeah, like climate change is a really like bad thing, but like, I mean, I'm also not complaining about plus two days in December. Okay, made it to the spot. Lake's all frozen up. Let's get cooking. These, we did not forget our fork this time. How wonderful. I can never tell which one's which. Is this garlic or onion? Garlic, onion. Always gotta smell it. Garlic. We are making some gourmet chicken fried rice, all right? So we got some peas, we got some carrots, got rice, of course, and chicken. All right, let's get cutting this stuff up, eh? Aww. bit of sesame oil how you doing oh I should almost turn on the second burner to warm up my hands I'm gonna do it that's beautiful all right we've got some scallions <laughs> I literally went to the grocery store just to get these because I couldn't have fried rice without them I don't know if I just recorded that or not. I thought I did, but I put the peas and corn in. All right, let's get this chicken out here. Get my cutting board nice and dirty. Generally, you want your chicken in nice, fine little chunks. You kind of want everything to be the same size, you know. It's all relative when you're making fried rice. Give that a little stir. I put way too much vegetables and stuff in here. This pot's not big enough. It's not gonna fry very well, I don't think. We'll see, we'll see. I got high hopes, I got high hopes. Yeah, so let me guys know what you think about the haircut. I mean, I think I look pretty fresh. <laughs> I know I kind of killed the whole uh, Bushman aesthetic, but yeah, it was definitely, I think it was long overdue for a haircut, so finally got that done. Sun's starting to set, check out the frozen lake. It's ice fishing season. It's getting close, getting close. This is already smelling really good, guys. I'm hungry AF. Okay, screw it. Let's throw the rice in. When you're making fried rice, you want to always try to use day old rice or even like couple days old because if you use the rice you made like 30 minutes ago, it's going to be really soft and like soggy almost. You want it to be pretty hard and use a little bit less water when you cook it too. Don't use the same amount you would use if, I don't know, you're making a butter chicken or something, you know? Use a little bit less, like this is still not even, I, I kind of messed it up, I used a little bit too much water, but we'll try and break it up as good as we can. 
Okay. Okay, that's a little overkill. Let's get all this rice off our hands now. Ah! Rice hands. Get off me! Okay, that's a lot better. I didn't know rice was that sticky. What the hell? What makes it so sticky? So the key to this, when you're making rice, fried rice, sorry, is super high heat and you want to keep it moving in the pan, right? Because you're trying to fry that, you know, when you get it from a restaurant, it gets that, that crispiness to it. It almost looks a little brown because they actually are frying it. And then once we get it mixed in, we will add our sauces. It's starting to look like something though, right? Look at us go. There's uh, somewhere in my lunch box, some oyster sauce. Oh no, it's spilling. Now oyster sauce is the goat when it comes to making fried rice, any any type of Asian meal. So we'll just get a little bit of that and just put that in there. You don't want to overdo it with oyster, but just enough to where you feel it tickle your taste buds. Like I said, high heat, move it quick. High heat, move it quick. Now we're not dealing with a lot of real estate in this pan. Really wish I didn't put so much in here, but we adapt, we overcome. I do like to do a little bit of uh, rice vinegar, it's a splash just to make me feel like I'm a culinary expert. Just a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, there is peas and corn everywhere. I mean, everywhere, man. Like, come on. What is going on right now? All right, and last but not, certainly not least, certainly not, it's our uh, pickle man soy sauce. And this is where we load it up, man. I'm talking, load it on. High blood pressure, give it to me. <laughs> And the thing about this is you can't waste any time. You get that sauce in there, you don't want to get it soggy, right? You gotta keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep it moving, people. I can't see the rice though. The smoke is blocking, it's blocking my face, man. I can't see my rice. All right, I'm gonna finish uh, whipping up this rice, guys. Camera's fogged up and uh, we'll get back to you. Can't forget the shallots. They're not the shallots, pardon me, French. I'm not sure what you would call these. Rice is pretty much done. Just gonna mix these in and uh, I think it's dinner time after that. Grab an old cot now. Just wipe down. I need to do a deep clean of this thing. It's getting weathered over the years, you know. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. All done. A couple cold fingers later and and peas and corn all over the back of my truck. We have a gourmet fried rice dish. Would you just look at that, eh? Beautiful. You know, the way I like to think of a good fried rice is like a good healthy relationship. What you put in, you're gonna get out. And that goes with any cooking, but fried rice in particular because yeah, fried rice is a very simple meal. You throw in some carrots, you know, some frozen carrots and corn some chicken rice, boom, you have rice. But that is not fried rice. The fried part is the most effort and that's where you sit there flipping and flipping the rice, flipping the rice, flipping the rice until you get that perfect little crisp on it. And that's what a good relationship is. You put in effort, you get rewarded. And we have been rewarded. So cheers to that guys. Oh wow, that was just delicious man, <laughs> plain and simple, like, it's just wonderful. But I discovered with this pan, you can use the negative weight, you wedge it in the steering wheel. Oh my god, and now you have hands, oh, you gotta get it in there the right way. Now you have hands free eating. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not sure if it gets better than this. Honestly. Oh my goodness, you guys. A couple bites left. I didn't need, oh, I don't know why I did that. If the soy sauce stops my heart, I want someone in my family to raffle off my truck to my subscribers. I'm just going to uh, reposition the truck so we can catch that beautiful winter sunrise in the morning. Look how beautiful those winter skies are.
and we're back. Um, I kind of want to play some guitar. So I'm going to drop a timestamp right now for the people who hate me singing because I know I suck, but I like doing it. So if I like doing it, I'm going to put it in. I know I'm not very good. So here's a timestamp if you want to skip through the video. Thanks. I'm shedding this layer and I'm throwing on the fleece. It's a little more mobile, you know what I mean? If I'm playing the JIT, I want something a little more, t not mobile, I think tactile would be the word. Just like my haircut, you know? That's what I was thinking when I got this haircut. I think, ah, I just want to be more tactical, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> so, like, if anyone has tried to learn how to play guitar before, you probably know that, like, singing along and playing guitar is one of the hardest things to learn. Like, it's like two things that are just, like, should be cohesive, but they're not. Like, on songs where you just strum down, like, that's easy. But when it's, like, up, down, up, down, pauses, off rhythm, those are really hard to play. So, like, this is one of my favorite songs, but I can't, like, do the proper strumming pattern. So when I can't do that, but I want to sing along, I'll just play, like, this. I'll just play on the note, you know? So, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do it, man. Up on the mountain, caught on the rail line. Up on the mountain, caught on the rail line. My brother, let the hard drugs be. Drink your wine, smoke your weed. My brother, let the hard stuff be. And wear your silver lining Wear it close to your skin But if it's the drugs, the women, the wine, the weed The love that took everything I own Just take it all and tell the ones you love, you love them Teach only what you know And oh, you better know it well We drove from coast to coast Down to New Orleans where the levee's broken You were tripping, I was driving You were running, I was hiding And you know, you know how that feels don't get cheated, kid, just swing from your heels And if you get carried away, let the music play Through the pain and wear your silver lining Wear it close to your skin but if it's the drugs, the women, the wine, the weed, the love that took everything I own, just take it all and tell the ones you love, you love them, teach only what you know and know, you better know it well. Mountain caught on the rail line. Up on the mountain caught on the rail line. I'm okay, but oh, I just dropped my guitar pick in the freaking crack of doom, man. How do you expect me to get that out of there? What the hell? Oh. What is, the, what is the meaning of this? Just so you guys know, I, I am I am mentally stable. Um, <laughs> all these songs I'm playing for you guys, I know they're very sad. I just enjoy sad music. Like even when I'm not sad, it's just like very powerful. I find like the really broken people make the best music. So that's why I like playing it. Um, maybe I'll try to learn some uh, happy, uplifting. <laughs> songs for you guys next time but uh, as of right now yeah all i know is like the real sad shit like missing her music so yeah now it's about that time to get to bed so let's move our seat up pop this bad boy up 
take Stan down, pillow up. Alright, we're all tucked in. It's starting to get cold though. Throwing my coat on. Oh no, my light. Getting that back up. I'm going to tuck my shirt in just for that extra warmth so it can't sneak up on me. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Let me just show you guys something. Those are all frosted up. Good night, guys. Time to get some sleep. Okay, coffee served. Cheers, pinkies up. Uh, a little strong. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today's video. If you're enjoying this winter content, please drop a like for me. It's some cold nights out here for you guys and I'm just trying to get you guys good content. So if you could please just drop a like. It helps me out more than you know and I would really appreciate it. That's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.